you're going to go through the hassle of core aerating your lawn, almost nobody does it. It's a big chore no matter how you go about it. If you're going to do it, you might as well get it done right. What do you do with the cores left on the ground? Obviously, there are two options. You leave them there or you pick them up. Let's talk about the reasons why you would choose one or the other, because contrary to popular belief, there's no correct decision. It all depends on what you plan to do afterwards. Now, the argument for leaving the cores on the ground has everything to do with this is good soil. It's got fertilizer in it. It's got grass in it. All of this stuff. It's going to break down on the lawn. If you just leave it there, it will break back down and reassimilate itself into the lawn soil. Obviously, that's a good thing, especially if your soil is good soil. If you're cutting the grass extremely low or you've got tons of foot traffic all over your lawn, then that might not be the best idea simply because super low cut lawns need to have super flat surfaces. Now, if you've got lots and lots of foot traffic on it, a lot of those cores are going to break down in, into kind of muddy messes, depending on and your irrigation schedule and the rains. So if you're trampling on the lawn and you're trampling on cores that are wet and muddy, they will actually kind of mulch down some of the grass that's there. It will be a big mess and there will be a handful of like splotchy patches in your lawn that don't quite grow as vigorously until the grass blades are able to penetrate through that kind of muddy compacted area. No matter what though, the grass will recover if you core aerate at the right time of year. What I suggest doing, what I do in my lawn, however, is I rake them up. I actually take them, but I don't get rid of them. I don't put them in the trash. I put them into good use. You can put them into compost piles. You can put them into low spots of your lawn and allow them to reassimilate into those low spots and kind of level them out a little bit. But the point is, once they're removed from the lawn surface, you've got a clean area with a lot of little holes going straight into the ground. This is the perfect time to top dress a lawn. Lots of people do top dress the lawn with compost or azomite or worm castings or something else. Many of these products when we put them on top of the lawn surface, they don't do a lot of good. They have to actually get way down into the root zone. And after a core aeration, this is very, very easy to accomplish. Long story short, do you leave the cores on the ground? This is going to depend on if you plan on top dressing the lawn right afterwards and the height of the cut. If you're cutting your grass higher, you don't plan to have an enormous amount of foot traffic in the lawn. It might be best just to leave the cores on the ground. If you do cut the grass short, if you do have a ton of foot traffic on the lawn, maybe with animals or kids, or you do want to apply a top dressing of some sort to boost the vigor of your lawn throughout the rest of the growing season, then picking them up is probably the best course of action. Now, there are lots of other things to consider when it comes to core aerating a lawn. I've got a video right up here all about the who, what, why, when, where, all of that. It's not all of those things make a difference. Why are you going to do it? How are you going to do it? All of the questions that you have, all of the important stuff right up there in that video. Take a look.